All right, we'll try this again here. I don't know what's going on with the connection. Got a really, really poor cellular connection out here on the beach this morning. But again, happy Sunday. It's great to be back from vacation. I really miss the beach and all my Facebook friends. Absolutely gorgeous out here this morning. I know we've got some new sea turtle nests here at the beach. And there goes the connection again. Hmm. Well, we might have to watch this on YouTube later. See the barge is still up there, up by Roy, up in area four. I was hoping that'd be gone when I got back. Boy, the water is gorgeous, nice and clear. why we are not getting internet this morning. Okay, the connection is back now. Look how clear this water is this morning. Absolutely beautiful. Let's see what numbers are on these nests over here. We saw number 35. What number is this? Number 22. Well, figures my first day on the beach since vacation, we'd have some kind of problems. Thanks, Sprint, for your horrible service. Haven't spotted any interesting shells yet. See another new nest up here. See what number is on that one. A little snowy egret. Lots of little fish jumping out here in the water this morning.
it looks like the more recent sea turtle nests, they don't have white, white stakes on them. They just have plain wooden stakes. This is nest number 32. Loggerhead sea turtle nest number 32. Number 35, nest 35 was down by the boardwalk in area one. This is nest number 32 right here. So I know we have 35 nests for sure. There might have been one further down in area one. Looks like another new one up ahead of me here. There's nothing I can do about the cellular connection here. That's terrible. I was very excited to get back out here and see everybody commenting. Area two now. And here we have nest number 37. Goodness. Wow. Nest number 37. Awesome. What do we have over here? This is another new one. What number might this be? Oh my goodness, number 38. Right next to each other. And that's 38. So that's 10 more than we're here when I left. You can see there's another one over here. That's nest 17. Several more up the beach. So we've been having a few crawls while I've been gone. That is awesome news. Awesome news. Beautiful out here. Expecting a high of 93 degrees today. It's going to be another hot one. Well, that looks like another new sea turtle nest up there as well. Huh. Number 43. Wow, nest number 43 up here. That is awesome, that's an awesome sight. Nest number 43, wow. We definitely had some action while I was gone. have a replay of this video on YouTube hopefully I will be able to download and save this this morning and the quality will be better on YouTube I apologize for the bad quality there's nothing I can do about it I'm at the mercy of Sprint and for some reason we have a terrible connection this morning I haven't seen any crawls yet on the beach this morning. No new crawls yet. But we have seen lots of new nests. It's 
since the last beach walk. I know people have been wondering about the quality of the water here. The water is great. The water is absolutely beautiful. No red tide. No, we're not feeling any of the effects or seeing any of the effects of that last release at Lake Okeechobee. Thank goodness. That is horrible. Something needs to be done about that. Big sugar is just getting ridiculous. What nest is that? No, that's nest number 39 up there. So, so far, <clears throat> number 43, that's the highest number we've seen. So we know we got 43 nests. Well, that's nest 29 there. 29. Boy, lots of little fish jumping out in the water this morning. I think I might see Roy up there. I might see his beach chair up there. Can't wait to check in with Roy. See what he's got going on. Nest number 40 right there, nest number 40. Wow. That's not a good place for the nest. It's much better when those turtles get up, up on the dune, even up beyond the dune and lay their eggs. They have a better chance of surviving the high tides. That's not the best place out in the middle of the beach. Our tides can easily come up that high in the summer. And what happens is it actually drowns the little turtles inside the eggs, the little embryos. So that's not good. So peaceful out here. Still haven't seen any interesting shells here walking along. Haven't seen any people yet, past any people. Got the place all to myself.
What number of nests do we have over here? This looks like one of the new ones. Huh, I don't even see a number on it. Oh, there it is. That's nest number 33. Number 33. All right, so far, number 45. Looks like that's the number so far, 45 nests. Maybe there'll be some more as we get further up the beach. Here's a, nope. Beautiful out here this morning. Except for the cruddy internet connection. <laughs> it's very disappointing. Another nest up there, that looks like nest number 36 on the left. Another new one. And another new one over here, number 34 in the back. When we get close to the dredge and the water gets really cloudy. Now the water looks terrible up here. It's gorgeous down the south end. Looks awful up here where they're pumping all the sand in. I wish they'd get that stupid thing out of here. I'm sure it's screwing everything up that barge out there. I have not seen any shells yet that I want to pick up and add to my collection. Sounds like an osprey in the background somewhere. Sounds like there's an osprey in the top of one of these trees here. I don't see it. You see a little snowy egret there walking out to the water. Pretty calm out there this morning. Very, very flat. So nice to be out here on the beach again. Sandpiper running by me there.
morning. Oh, I was hoping to see maybe a new sea turtle crawl here, some new tracks on the beach this morning, but not yet. There's another one of our new nests back in the back up on the dune there. Way up on the dune. That's a great, great location for the nest. She's way, she crawled way up here. What number is that? can't see the number there it's that's nest number 31 right there look at that right in the middle of a little footpath <laughs> that's a little footpath out to the beach so you won't be able to use that anymore nest number 31 Two skimmers. Those were skimmers, those two birds that just flew by. It's great to see their back, the skimmer birds. Well, the water is absolutely filthy dirty here up by where the barge is. Absolutely filthy. So glad that thing's out there. I wish it would catch on fire and melt into the water overnight. <laughs> There's a live lightning whelk. How cool is that? This is a beautiful, beautiful lightning whelk shell. And it's alive. You can see the whelk there, the trap door, a little hard plate that protects the whelk when it goes in its shell. At least I think it's alive. Actually, that's a, that's a, we call that a pear whelk. It's got the opening on the opposite side. It's not a lightning whelk. A lightning whelk, the opening's on the opposite side. See, that's what you call a pear whelk. Very cool. Hopefully he's still alive. It's a great shell. Nice colors. back down in the water. What did I see? I think I saw a little olive shell over here. Yep, one of our little olives missing the tip. Hopefully I'll be able to save this video and repost it on YouTube and share it with everybody. I miss seeing everybody's comments here during a live feed. Hopefully I'll be able to get this worked out or Sprint will get their 
connection reestablished here. I don't know what the issue is. There's Roy's beach chair. So he must be up at Wiggins Pass. Saying his morning prayers. See if the water clears up when we pass this barge here. Get a little further up the beach. Boy, look at this. This is a piece of a giant whelk shell. Look at that. That's just a piece of one. That thing was huge. That's a huge, that would have been a huge whelk. Look at that. Wow. Very quiet here. Only seen a couple people out here so far this morning. Wow. All kinds of little fish jumping out here in the water. Lots and lots of little tiny coquina shells down here. Look at them all down there. Look at all those little coquinas. Boy, they're everywhere here. Well, I think I'm going to wrap up the live feed here. Since it's not really a live feed, I'll save it to the phone and upload it to YouTube. I'm going to try and start one more live feed, see if I can get the Wi-Fi to work. Anyway, thanks for watching. Have a great Sunday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless. Okay, I'm trying this live feed one more time this morning here. Trying to figure out what's going on with our connection. It says I have a connection now. In area three, the Del Norwegans. This is actually the third video 
that I've recorded this morning. It looks like we have a connection now. This isn't gonna be much of a beach walk. I'm just gonna head back to my car, which is down in area one, and I'm gonna drive back up and have a chat with Roy. Let's walk down. Let's see where we're at. Let's see, we're up to 45 sea turtle nests on the beach now. 45 nests. That's incredible. When I left, we had 28 sea turtle nests. All right. It looks like things are working now. I guess the third time's the charm. I didn't really see any interesting shells while I was walking up. But we do have a dolphin just offshore here. I don't know if you can see them, maybe two dolphins. They're not too close. Let's see if they come up again. There's one of them. They're just kind of hanging around out there. So I can get in a little closer on them, see if they come up again. Where'd you guys go? Right out in this area. There's one getting ready to come up over here. Oh, there is one over there. Two. See him out there? Let's see if I can get a little closer. Looks like they're slowly heading north up the beach here. Let's see if they come up again. Hey, good morning, Kelly. Back. Thanks, how are you doing? I know, isn't that terrible? There's our dolphins. What a great thing to see in the morning. Two dolphins swimming around out there. That's great. You might have heard Kelly say she's not happy with our beach conditions back here, and neither am I. The water is actually horrible looking because of that dredging. Well, the dolphins are just kind of hanging out right out there. Right there where you see that water churned up a little bit. See him? Well, that is great. I'm so happy I got to see the dolphins come back to town and the dolphins are there with a, a welcome home <laughs> here to greet me. That is so cool. They're just putzing around out there. They don't look like they're in a big hurry to move on. See them there? about as much as I can zoom in. They're pretty far out there. Whoops, where'd you guys go? They're actually swimming further out now too. I lost them. They're way out there now. You can just see them coming up. They're pretty far out. I always say it's good luck. You're going to have a great day when you see dolphins in the morning. That is awesome. You get out of this zoom mode here. The best way to do that is I go into the selfie real quick and come back out. Let's walk a little further down the beach, but you can see. The water looks terrible here because of that dredging. It's got all the mud turned churned up. 
It was great. Down in area one, the water is nice and clear. This isn't red tide though, don't be alarmed. We've got some new sea turtle nests on the beach since I left. The highest number that I saw was number 45. Uh, let's see if we, if we might see that again here. This is the third video that I've done this morning. We didn't have any connection earlier this morning. Now it's re-established here. I'm able to do a live feed. So what I'm doing is walking back to my car and I'm gonna drive up to area four and we'll see, check in with Roy and see how he's doing. But this is a new nest right here. This is nest number 40, sea turtle nest number 40. Not in the greatest place out in the middle of the beach like that. They're much better off when they get up higher in the dunes, like that one over there. This, the odds of this one surviving are 50-50 you know, here. We get a high tide and that nest will be underwater there, unfortunately. And if it stays underwater for too long, the little baby sea turtles drown in the nest. So that's kind of a sad thing. So we always like to see them get up to the dunes and even up beyond the dunes. So we'll keep our fingers crossed for nest number 40 there. That water is really flat out there this morning, really calm. There's a little sandpiper up here. Taking off, yelling at me as he flies away. Well, hopefully we're all getting this. Oh, there's another dolphin right up here. Just saw one just offshore. Did you see that? Not too far out. Right out in here. Keep. There he is, see him coming up. He's swimming out now. Watch over in this area. Wow, three dolphins this morning. That is awesome. See where he went here. See him there coming up. if we see him again out there. There he is. How neat is that? There he is. That's dolphin number three this morning. <coughs> Excuse me, getting over a cold. That is a going away present from my grandson. He gave me a cold. See if we can see that dolphin. There he is. He's making his way north up the beach also, like the other two. Heading out into deeper water. So cool. So, so neat. Love seeing the dolphins in the morning. So it's three dolphin in this short period of time already. Awesome, and now the water's starting to clear up here. The further we get away from that dredging, the nicer the water gets, thank goodness. This is the north end of area two here. The water's starting to look nice.
Good morning. Here's nest number 43 over here. Sea turtle nest number 43. When I left two weeks ago, there were 28 nests on the beach. Here's nest 43. This is up the north end of area two. I didn't see any new crawls this morning. There's three nests in a row. That's nest 17, that's an older nest. This is nest number 38, that's a new one. And right over here is nest 37. So those two girls came up side by side. Nest 37. Nest 38 over there. Pretty cool, huh? Let's snap off a quick photo, bear with me. All right, I'm back. And it's good to be back. Hello, everybody. I missed my beach and all my Facebook friends. Summer has really set in here. Things are really starting to slow down. Business always slows down here in the summertime. If any of you would like to make a little contribution, it's always appreciated. I enjoy doing these beach walks, but I do have bills to pay just like everybody else. And like I was just saying, the summertime gets really slow here. So if anybody wants to help out, you can find my PayPal information in the description of this post a little later. And I appreciate it. Every little bit helps. That's number 32. I did walk up to area four this morning and I did not find any great shells. I did, the only thing I saw was, I saw one live lightning whelk or pear whelk, one live whelk shell. That was it. I think this dredging has really, has really screwed up our beach here. really sad it's all about money we've got the, these problems with Lake Okeechobee when they release the water from that all the pollutants it's just destroying the beaches to the north of us thanks to our politicians and greed, they don't do a darn thing about it. These guys need to wake up and get their heads out of their butts. Where's Morgan and Morgan? He was all for legalizing pot. Why doesn't he 
file a class action suit against these idiots up in Okeechobee and our politicians for not doing anything about ruining our waters, killing our tourism. For the people, Morgan and Morgan. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. Well, that was my rant for this morning. <laughs> We're down in area one. We're getting set up for their Sunday morning paddleboard yoga. That's the instructor out there. It's pretty neat. You'll see a whole bunch of folks out there. Not where those little markers are. They'll be out on their paddle boards doing yoga. I believe you can go to the park's website and get more information about that on how to sign up. You just click on the events, go to the website for Del Nor Wiggins Pass State Park at Florida State Parks, floridastateparks.org. And you can register for these Sunday morning paddleboard yoga classes. And she's just getting set up now. There's usually a dozen or so folks out there doing it. It's pretty fun to watch. There's a night heron up here on the beach. Somebody posted a picture of this on Facebook, and I was wondering what kind of bird it was. This is a night heron. And I'm, I'm guessing we get a nesting, a pair of them down here this time of year because last year I saw two of them. I just see one right now. But it's right over here on the left. I don't want to scare it away. But that's a night heron. If I can zoom in, get you a little closer look. So if you see that bird and are wondering what it is when you come to the beach, that's a night heron. It's got that little plume on the top of its head. Beautiful birds. I'm not gonna get any closer than that. <laughs> Whoop. It's a night heron. A great look at a night heron, too. Beautiful birds. There's the sign for the yoga, the paddleboard yoga, Sundays at 9.30, paddleboard yoga. There's that night heron again. Well, I know this was a short live feed, but this is the third video that I did this morning. We just had all kinds of problems with the connection this morning. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this feed here in a minute and I'm gonna hop in my car and drive back up the beach up to area four and check in with Roy on another live feed. So if you're wondering how Roy is doing, stay tuned for another live feed. You see the water is much clearer down at this end of the beach, much clearer. So it's obvious that that dredging has something to do with the water quality up at the north end of the park. But hey, thanks for watching. If you don't tune in later, have a great Sunday. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.